Hey guys, what if here? Welcome back to NASCAR Tales 3 for 2636 Season 3 of the Crew Mode. We're going to Richmond today. Last race was at Darlington, and it was a decent race. It was it went fairly well. It was a little bit of a step down than normal, but it was not you know, horrendous. It was not atrocious. Richmond, I think maybe we can win. I don't know. I mean, we've only won Daytona and Talladega this season pretty much, so I mean, I don't think it might happen, but god damn it. The first time we went to Richmond earlier this season, it went well. I think it might happen today. I don't know. So we're going into this with a good car rating. Car rating of 100% condition, 77. Chassis is a little bit warm, but still good, all things considered. R&D, we got one more race on the chassis tire grip. So after this race, we'll put in, uh, you know, build a new chassis with new added things. So that'll be nice. So anyways, without further ado, I'm going to get right into, uh, you know, the car setup and then uh, again, the qualifying. Here's the car set for the race again, nothing uh, too drastic from the normal. I think the big thing I changed here is the QB setup sort of format. That's what we're going to use here. So 25 springs, 100 rear springs, sway bar. I have it, I think, at the default, I think. For some reason, it being lowered, it, it, it affects the handling, which is weird because I was told that it helps if you lower it. So, I don't know, but 3 fourths is fine. Gear ratio, everything's the same except for fourth gear. I bumped it up to 125. and. That's a bit of, that's about it for the setup, so let's just get qualifying here and probably start on a pull because that's all we can do. Oh my god. Oh my god, it was just the outlap. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh jeez, that's insane. Well, another pull for us. Me and Scott Wimmer start up in front row. Let's get this Richmond race underway. Three, two, one. Green flag's out, we got 40 laps. Oh boy, I hope this is the race where we can get a win. Because this season, we've only won at Daytona and Talladega, only three wins so far. I really want to get a non-restrictor play win. So that would be very nice. And Richmond could be the track to do it. We have people that aren't normally fast that are up in the front row like Scott Wimmer and Chad Chaffin. So this could be our chance. We're pulling away from them. It's really got to go into sub mode here and build a gap on them before uh, <laughs> they get passed by faster cars. Well... I think Scott Wimmer got passed by Rusty Wallace, so he moves in the second. I build about, maybe about half a second lead, as you saw in the interval, from him. So now we're going to really see how this car fares against a you know, competitive car. So uh, we'll see if we can if I can keep this up. After a couple laps, we're pulling away from Rusty Wallace ever so slightly. It's been kind of fluctuating between, like, some laps he'll be like a tenth or so faster than me and the other laps I'm like two tenths faster than him so the interval is fluctuating but it is getting it the gaps increasing so that's really nice to see so I'm just gonna ride around here until I pit which will be on lap number 20. Start lap number 20 uh, still maintaining a lead I've just been so damn grateful that you know like Chad Chaff and Scott Wimmer started like up in the front so I think they held up like people like Rusty Walls and Tony Stewart for me to get this lead, but I've been able to maintain it, which is crazy, so I'm really happy with that. We're heading down Piro, 70 miles an hour. Four tires and fuel will be out in the way. Oh my god, this could be the fucking race. They just gotta have a decent fucking pit stop. Nothing crazy. Just to meet expectations. Thank you, game. Thank you, game, so fucking much for not crashing. It always fucking does it at Richmond for some reason. Thank you so much. Fifteen point four. That's not too bad. I don't even know where we're gonna truly cycle out. But let's just try and get out here. Oh, a little sideways. It's okay. We can win this race. I think I can win this race. I, I can't believe it. It could happen. Oh my god, I just I'm I'm in denial right now. This is so surreal. So we're the last one that's uh, on the lead lap. We're in twelfth right now. I think the pit stops aren't done yet, so ooh, I can't I can't wait. I can't wait for the cycle to end. Oh my god, the leader's down pit road. I wasn't even paying attention. Okay, we're just gonna get through just fine. I don't even know who the who was even down pit road, but it's okay. We're gonna get the lead here when the all cycles out. What am I? Oh my god, I'm so. Oh my god, I'm gonna, I'm gonna freak out so much when this race ends if I can win it. And there we go into the lead. Hell yeah! 
Shane Hall's in second, but Rusty's like almost three seconds back, stuck in lap traffic, so. Ooh. Ooh, God, I'm excited. I can't wait for this race to be over. God, man, it's just... It's been since, I mean, like, the uh, Pepsi 400. But it's really been since, like, Michigan in Season 2, the second race. So it's been well over a season where I got a race that was not won at Daytona or Talladega. So it's been that long. At least that's how I always perceive it. So, oh, this is going to be a, such an earned fucking win after all the trials and tribulations that I've had in, like, in this season where I feel like I could have won a race or did better. I don't know, but... Five laps left to go into the race. I am just, I am just so nervous. I very seldomly am I in a position like this, and I don't think, well, probably maybe since Bristol, uh, a few races ago, where I had such a good car, and here it's everything's going according to plan. No cautions fucking me up. It is just the car. Just it, for once, I have nothing but praise for it. This means a little bit tight and weirdly loose off the corner, but it's been very manageable. I've been, it's been very comfortable to drive and fast. Something that the setup normally does not like to do very often, but it's working here very damn well. So I am <laughs> fucking happy for a change. White flag next time by. <laughs> I swear I didn't mean to do that on purpose. It's like my subconscious was like aware that that was Bobby Labonte that I was getting into. Oh my god. Well, we got him out of the way. We're lapping him, which is very surreal too. And white flag is out for ourselves one more time around here at Richmond. Just gotta make the corners. The car is starting to fall off a little bit. Like now at this point, can't go in. It's just starting to feel a little bit loose. And not handling the best, but it's okay. Go through turn three. Jeff Green tried to wreck me, but it's okay because I have such a big lead, I think. So, off the of turn four. <laughs> yes! Yes! Oh, fucking finally! Oh my god! Dario Quickies, Davy Quickie time! Hell yeah! Complete our one lap tribute. Oh my god. I can't believe it. Can't fucking believe it. God damn. I didn't think this time would come in this season where I would get a win that's not Daytona Taldega. I didn't think it would happen. But it finally did. <laughs> and the game didn't dick me over. Holy shit, the plants aligned for this to happen. I'm not giving a good angle for a thumbnail, so there you go. Blame EA Sports, don't blame me, blame the game. Wow. Oh my god. I get a thunder plate for Richmond daytime so the game predict the future. What's what's our earnings like? Oh my god. <laughs> Two fucking million dollars, Jesus. Gorin got second. Uh, Tony's or Rusty Wall's third. Gorin's gonna gain the points as well as Tony Sturt over Dale Jarrett, I'm thinking. Scott Wimmer sixth. Jarrett eighth, Mark ninth. And Kyle Petty thirteenth, Chad Chapman twelve. I think we led the most laps of this race by far. We led 37 laps. Holy shit. All right, let's get out of here. Please game fucking work properly. Thank you. Oh boy. Next race is New Hampshire. And now we have the 777 number with 27 of 36. And I, I don't know what it means, but so I'm scared. Maybe the QB setup will save me this race at New Hampshire. Maybe it will. I don't know. We'll probably get asked for it. But I'm going to enjoy this while I can. So, our, we don't have a sponsor on the hood anymore. But, we have that new chassis thingamajig that came in. So, we're going to go to the garage, build a new one. 
for uh, 812,000 for three races as you see the condition and drafting the yeah, tire rip. Yeah, all that's going up. So we're going to build that for three races. We're going to repair. I don't even know what to repair. Maybe, I guess, number 14. I don't even know if any of them could be improved. But the overhaul, I have no clue. 72, 75, 74. What would it be if I overhaul that one? Okay. That definitely goes up. So we're going to overhaul that. Engines. Can't do anything here. Actually, number 13 came in, so... We'll just, I guess, swap out the one we have with the pre-existing chassis. So let's go to modify, uh, change engine to number 13, and save changes. And that'll be a car rating of 77 again. R&D, what do we do next here in this, in this? I don't know. I have no clue. Maybe chassis drafting. I mean, I don't really think I need chassis drafting. I don't really know. We have chassis tire grip though, that, that just came in. So, I don't know. We're actually just not going to bother with this. We're going to go to the, uh, what is it, sponsorships, go to a different primary. So Kmart's asking for fifth average finish in fifth place. We don't even have a top 10 average finish, so that's not going to work. Average finish in 10th for that, that's not... One, Average, in, I think we can average finish in 10th position. I don't, we're just not there though. Like we're like 12th in our average finishing. So that's, we can't really get the, even the, the McDonald's one. Is there anything else? Another package sponsor, UAB average finish in 20th. That's really about it. Is there anything else that we need to add? No, I guess not. I don't know what to do. I can go with the, the white tails, which is average at 15th, but if we're going to go into season three, we're going to lose like 400,000 though. I finished in fifth place. I think I can. Can I just get a finish in 10th place? Well, that's the packet sponsor, but I don't want that. Finish in 15th, finish in 20th. Oh my god. Oh, Jesus Christ. I can't. I don't know what to freaking pick. McDonald's tour. I, I average finish. I just don't think I can do that yet, though. I have to go with white tails because, like, I know I can average finish that for sure. Damn, that's for 27 races. So that's almost all the way through season three. I'm gonna go with McDonald's. <laughs> I think in season three we can maybe pull this off. Four, season four. I'm, we're gonna go with this for pretty much a full season, all the way into season four. So there you go, new package sponsor, new sponsor. So probably next race, I'm gonna change the uh, the look of the car so it fits to that, which will be pretty interesting because it's gonna be like a mix of yellow and red, and maybe a little bit of blue like the one it's here originally. So that might be cool aesthetically. I hope we can continue to do that for season four. So standings, we're doing pretty well. We're, we moved up to fifth. And Jarrett's still the points leader by 27 over Stewart. Gorn's still right there. Mark's a little bit further back. We're just kind of out of reach. We're almost two full races behind in the points. Like behind a leader. And Sterling Marlin cracks in 10th. And Purvis drops down the points as well as Amy H I think Amy Hicks stayed about the same. But yeah. Well, that was Richmond. That was a good fight. I'm, I'm just happy with that. I just... I got nothing more to say. If you like the video, smash the goddamn like button. I'm just so happy for once. The game gives just, it, it, it just, I, I do well. Next race, you could probably expect a rage-filled classic Forza 6 what if, because I'm, I assure you, I'm going to get pissed off. So, whatever, I'm going to enjoy this while I can, so, yeah. Also, big shout out to my tier 3 Patreon supporters, the Dan Reynolds, Brain Hill, Scott Browning, Mark Kohler, Roland Hawker, Brother Bros, Kamikaze Games, Jeff Gordon, and Ronnie Lassner for your donation. Again, I can't say enough how much I appreciate each and every single one of you. It does mean a lot to me, and uh, you guys are seriously awesome for it. I'll see you all next race. Get prepared, because I think I'm going to rage. That's going to be fun. I'll see you all later, and as always, have a good day, everyone.